to have all of you here in the presence of our author Ashwarya Rajnikan Dhanush and our guests uh, Karan Johar and Sonakshi Sena. Thank you so much Karan and Sonakshi for doing this and Ashwarya. It's a very special book. In fact, I'd like to start by asking any, anyone here, do they know, does anyone know what an Apple box is? Apple box, anyone? Gets a, gets a, gets a signed copy from Ashwarya for that. No. Yes, very, very, very logical, but so, and that is the kind of book this is, you know. Uh, it's a very special book uh, coming from somebody who is Rajnikanth's daughter and Dhanush's wife. One would have expected a book full of uh, celebrity stories, but this is not that kind of a book. It's a book that is very understated, very keenly observant, as I've told Aishwarya in the previous function we had. There's a story in there about how she, at the end of the day, she comes back home and looks out of her window at a woman working in the garden and how she observes it. In fact, I think, Ashwari, you should read that little, it's a short piece, you should read that piece as part of the evening because it's such a, it's such, it describes the book in such a good way. It's, it's just what the book is, it's what Ashwari's writing is and I'm glad, I'm privileged to have published this book uh, on behalf of Harper Collins. I'd like to thank uh, Crossword Bookstores, uh, probably the biggest bookstore chain in India, 94 stores. And in an era where we keep complaining about people not reading books, this is evidence of what Crossword is doing in the decimation of the reading habit. Without taking any more time, because this is what we are here for, I'd like to now invite Karan, Aishwarya and Sonakshi to sort of unveil the big one there. After this? Okay. Okay. In that case, uh, a proper unveiling of the small ones because we haven't opened, opened the book, you know. Thank you so much, and now I would uh, leave the evening to Karan Johar's most able hands and for a wonderful round of conversation with Sonakshi and Aishwarya, of course, the author of the book. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Firstly, I'll, of course, I'd like to uh, recap what the gentleman said. I'd like to thank Crossword for housing us, and it feels spectacular to walk into uh, to a room that smells of books. Uh, it's an essence and a smell that what doesn't come across very often these days. Uh, it's something that we grew up on. It's that feeling of opening a, a new book that, that is always exhilarating for anyone. Uh, that feeling seems to be diminishing, but the uh, more power to spaces like this, which empower books, and I hope will continue to do so. Um, to Harper Collins for inviting us and allowing us to actually speak about a book that is so immensely special. Um, it's a book that really touches on a topic that I don't think anyone ever has in our country. Uh, there is always so much said about being a celebrity, about being a star. So much is spoken about, written about, conjectured about, rumored about, and always speculated about. But the one essence that remains is there is always the light, the limelight, and there's always the focus on a humongous movie star. What one doesn't realize is that the family of that humongous movie star sometimes goes through their own beats, emotionally, professionally, psychologically. And uh, while you think it's all very cushy and it's a land of luxury and a lap of luxury, there is also the flip side of that. There's a looming large shadow that is always hovering around the son or the daughter or the sibling or the spouse of a humongous movie star. Now, I'm privileged to share the platform of two wonderful and illustrious women, both of whose fathers have not only made a tremendous mark in the anvils of celluloid, but have also left behind impressions that they had to follow up to in various ways. 
Uh, Eshwarya touches upon what it feels like to be uh, the daughter or the child of such a talent and such a legend like her father, Mr. Rajnikanth. So Nakshi rightfully is in conversation with us, the daughter of prolific actor, politician, Shatrugan Sinha, who is not only known for his impactful personality, but also the tremendous work and legacy that he leaves behind. The two of them, as I've gathered, have been childhood friends and of course have had many experiences together. Now, I have to begin with you, Ishvarya. When I read your book and I first read about the concept, for everyone who really wants to know what an apple box really is, an apple box is something that started off as being something that cased apples very efficiently. And then because we are Indian and we like to make maximum use of everything that is given to us, um, it became something that we used on set uh, for all short people to stand on. Uh, and especially, mostly, it was some of the, the, when the leading actors of those times were looming large and tall, and the wonderful leading ladies had to stand up for close-ups. Um, I saw it as a child. It was called the apple box. You stand on it uh, so that you can actually be in the same kind of line of vision for the cinematographer to capture you efficiently. Uh, I used it, I saw it so much as a child that I even made it a moment in Kabi Kushi Kabi Gam, where he actually draws that box and gives it to um, Mrs. Bachchan for her to stand on. Um, what a wonderful observation, because uh, obviously Ashwarya has grown up on film sets and has probably seen that. And there's a chapter with the same name, Standing on an Apple Box. So rightfully, is that, was that the inspiration for the book title? Uh, hello, everyone. And first of all, I'd like to thank Crossword. And I'd like to uh, thank both these beautiful people for accepting to come. This is a given, because I've known her from the time she was a kid. But thank you so much for coming. Pleasure. And uh, it's so relevant with people who have parents who have been looming, looming personalities in their lives to come and talk about this. It didn't make sense otherwise at all to me. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And yes, standing on an apple box, the apple box, like you said, has, is like a comfort blanket. It's, it's something where I have uh, seen from the time I was born, then I was while I was growing up and then I got married into the same industry and then I'm working in the same industry. So it's just something that I have seen all my life. And I wanted something very intriguing as a title. And I couldn't think of anything else because I think the apple box has been one constant in my life all through and it's still there. Then when days are crazy on the set and you know you have so many people screaming and running about and everything is going helter skelter, all that you need to do is to go sit on that apple box and feel, okay, you know what? Something has been the same. That's, that's not changed. So I think that's the apple box. And I'm sure she knows the apple box. He knows the apple box. And I wanted everyone to know that something so small can be so significant in our lives. Well, tell us, uh, Ashwarya, that the germ of this story obviously comes from something deeply personal within you. Obviously, you've had moments in your growing years and thereafter uh, where, of course, there's not a single day, I'm sure, that you've not been proud of your absolutely mag magnificent father's illustrious achievement. But there must have, been, must have been down days as well, you know, where you had to perhaps pay the price, the other side, the flip side of being a celebrity child. You know, sometimes where you're given perhaps too much attention, or sometimes perhaps where too much is expected of you. Uh, you know, where you're always burdened with the tag of being Rajni Khan's daughter. And that, that, those can be experiences that you carry through school, through college, through your formative years, and then thereafter, friends who perhaps befriend you for, uh, for all the right or wrong reasons, and there are relationships that crumble because there's always the fear of, you know, expectation in those. So I'm sure that you and your sister Sondaria have had those down days as well. Does the book, is the book a result of those down days or is it a celebration of the up days? I think the book is, uh, I would say, pages of my diary. Uh, if suppose reading out of my diary, how would it be? is as real as that. And uh, definitely, there have been many days like that. It's not just one or two. And uh, I, this book, as you see that in the first page, I have dedicated it to all the celebrity kids that I know. And it's, it's very difficult to maintain the sanity and sensibility being coming from where we come from. It's uh, a lot of things are misconstrued. There are a lot of misconceptions. There are a lot of myths about you know, why we behave the way we do, why we talk the way we talk, why we don't make certain friends, why we make certain friends. So this 
it talks about, you know, that, you know what, we are also as normal as you are. And please don't think that we are abnormal. We are not. And there are a lot of things that we did exactly like how you did in childhood. And this talks about my memories of being normal. I think most of it is that. Wonderful. And Sunakshi, uh, if I have to uh, speak to you, you've known Ishwarya um, since um, you all were child, children and you all were childhood friends. Now, if I had to say the same thing, that is there a deep resonance and a deep identification with the theme of this book in your life? You grew up again in the lap of Hindi cinema, in the lap of every, around film lights, people, fans, screaming fans outside your home, screaming on sets, always having a famous father. Now, that is very different from what other kids go through, you know, when their fathers step out into the real world, nobody's screaming for them, you know, and you've seen a totally different side. How did that impact you in your formative years? 